No. And look down, and that is what he saw in his banana this morning. Okay, Justin, today we are doing three sauces from Sam Sauce. The hardest company to ever pronounce if you are not aware of how to pronounce it. Really? Look at that. If you've never heard it called Sam Sauce before. No. It's a tough yeah. one. Sam's a house. Sam's a house. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's I would have said. It's a tough one. That's what I would have said. Amazing sauces. They're on heat they're on hedonist. Well, they are on hedonist. They're on hot ones right now. Great sauces. Super hyped. Smoky J is on there. We got where are you? We got right here. Big Smoky Mama. This is the same sauce, but the the mama version of it, the big boy version of it, the hotter version of it. The hotter version. What makes it hotter? Don't know. Not inten intentionally not looking at the ingredients yet. So we've got Big Smoky Mama. We've got hot habanero ram. Yes. Haba ben Keep going. Keep trying. Keep try, say, try say, more time. say that word. Haba banero rama. <laughs> got got that <laughs> one. And we got boxcar hippie. All right. Not the easiest sauces or names <laughs> to pronounce. How you go from bamalamarama to boxcar hippie? Like how do you go from the hardest word to say to just a few good Dude, good they're, words? They're tough, man. All right. I, I know. Okay. Where do you want to start? Okay. I, I don't know the ingredients at all. So where do you? Where, okay. What do you think? Well, you said this is the big boy version. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say that order. Say this is the hot. Okay. You want to go this way? I say we go that way. Sure. Let's go this way, regardless of what is going on with our lives. Okay. Hot. I don't even know what the first letter is. Is that an H? Uh, yeah. With a handle. It looks Hot. like it has a knife handle. Hot hand banana ram. Hot hand banana ram. Got it. There we go. Woo! Okay. Four minutes into the video and you got it. And the ingredients are bananas. Did you see... The freaking nightmare fuel <laughs> that Alex Buning had this morning. I'm not. I didn't know I had to be afraid of that, but now I'm afraid of that. I didn't know that I ever had to be terrified of bananas. Right. <laughs> okay, if you do not want bananas ruined forever, look away for the. Look away, right? Look away right now. Okay, you're good. You can look again. That terrifying monstrosity, Alex. Ate Alex that. B ate it. Alex Buning ate that. He took a bite out of it, and he goes, "Why is this crunchy?" No. And looked down, and that is what he saw in his banana this morning. It was rotting from the inside out. I have never seen that, and it has changed bananas for the rest of my life. Anyways, let's eat this banana hot sauce. Bananas, distilled vinegar, rice wine vinegar, ahi lim uh, limon. Uh, yellow onion, yellow bell peppers, water, kosher salt, preserved lemons, black cardamom, citric acid, and xanthan gum. This sounds so freaking yeah, good. Yeah, it does. Bananas number one. I know, right? What's there to cut? I mean, what is there to cut? It's a small one. Yeah, it's still got a freaking foil or a plastic thing on it. I got this trash spoon. Yeah, sorry, I freaking got real. I, I told you, I said last week, I got feisty. I just, just snapped it right in my hand. I snapped it in half. You should have sanded it down. And Dude, I, I like literally broke it like right here. Should have made it a little short, <laughs> a little short spoon. I, you, I could have sand it down. I mean, it technically still worked as like a, a bowl. Yeah, exactly. A, bowl. Like you a vehicle. Be, it was a, the vehicle was still there. I think it was. I don't remember where it broke. I might, it might have broken the <laughs> in the bowl. I don't remember. Okay. Anyways, what's the heat on this? Is there, there's no scale. Okay, the uh, heat limit lemon. Lemon. It's a pretty mild pepper. Okay. It's so delicious. I, I I don't know what that smells like. It looks like baby food. It looks like I was trying to avoid, but yeah, it does. You're right. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't smell what super in great. the hell am I smelling? I don't know, man. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't. But I'm not like heck yeah. Is that the vinegar and the onions? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I I don't know what I, I have smell. no idea. Vinegar, peppers, kind of. Lemon preserve that. I think I get lemon, like preserved lemon, that kind of thing. No. It doesn't smell like any sauce I've ever smelled. I don't know, man. Cheers. That's good. That is good. That is really good. That is. Let me see that. That's good. Yeah. What in the world am I tasting though? No bananas, onions. Yeah, it's onion. It's kind of it's it's a little bit higher on the sodium level too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sodium, onions, forty milligrams of sodium. It tastes saltier it than tastes that. It tastes saltier than that. I'm not bummed by the salt. No. Okay. It's look. a good level for the for the complimentary to the onions. Yeah. It's a good level of sodium. 
I'm just saying it's a little bit higher on the sodium, but it's an it's. I'm a salt person. I enjoy salt. I'm okay with the salt level. Man, that's good. It is super tasty. That is I incredible. Have no idea what I would use this on. I don't either. I have no idea. I, I mean, I, other than like literally eating it on a spoon, like yeah. I I don't know. So I that's mean, incredible. Vinegar, rice wine vinegar, onions, the lemon pepper. Um, like I guess it kind of has like. It goes in the way of desserty kind of situations, but there's like a good hit of vinegar simultaneously. I would almost use it as a dipping sauce, for like fries or something like that. That's not the worst idea. That's not what I'm kind of leaning towards, like something like that. Weirdly, I want to, like this is going to sound really specific and really odd. Hash brown falafel. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like specifically falafel, yeah. like Mediterranean yeah. food. Yeah. You know, because there's like a lot of lemon happening, like in citrus things that happen with that, like. That's where I'm going. It's oh. so specific, but I want a falafel. Yeah. Weirdly enough. Yeah. Um, very tasty. That's very incredible. mild. Very, very mild. Like I'm um, rounded up one. Rounded up one. Very, yeah. very mild. <laughs> um, and extremely weird and different. And cool. Very flavor forward. Yeah. That is good and freaking weird. Yeah. That's incredible. That's gonna be hard to beat. Boxcar hippie. Good. Okay. Ingredients in this are red wine vinegar. Uh, fire roasted tomato, fire roasted red bell peppers, red onion, Trinidad scorpions, garlic, preserved lime, chili de arabol, cilantro, salt, toasted spices, citric acid, chia seed powder. This is like a taco sauce. Yeah. This has got um, some Mexican, like Mexican cuisine vibes going on. Chili de arabol, um, fire roasted ingredients, uh, toasted ingredients. Brian can't get this freaking foil thing Because it's a small one. That's why I said that on the first one. It's tough, man. And there's no easy ta pull tab anywhere on it, so it's like, it's just rough. He might, I wonder if he's changing his bottles because, uh, like, he changed his bottles, like, they had to change them for hot ones. Just so, oh, so they match. So they match and so they can fit in, like, the 10-pack. Yeah. You know, so, like, he's got the tall, the standard yeah, uh, bottles. To be uniform. But I, I do like these bottles. I like though. those bottles a lot. I like them, too. Like they um they pour really well. Yeah, I like those. I like these. This is my favorite bottle shape. <clears throat> I mean, it smells great. It's, it honestly, it smells like uh, goes to saffron. Really? Yeah. It lo it's got like the texture of goes to saffron. It, too. it really that does. Looks very oh, similar. A little lighter in color, maybe, but texture wise, that, yeah, that smells good. Yeah, it smells great. I mean, I got a lot more. I got a lot, there's no garlic in here. I've got a lot of garlic in my sauce. Yeah. Um. And I don't know. Oh wait, no, there's garlic in here. Sorry, there is garlic. Beautiful texture. Yep. Okay. All right. Cheers. Tacos. Wonderful texture. <laughs> Spicy. <coughs> Caught me off guard. Man, that's good. It is delicious. It's a yeah. it's a taco, taco sauce. It's a taco sauce. Yep. Beautiful texture. It's got like a chew to it. Yeah, um, there's definitely a lot, a lot in it. It's freaking hot. This is warm. It's pretty warm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, real quick. Uh, three, two, one, three. three. What's a three? Um, I love scorpion. Top of the throat. I love scorpion yep. peppers and sauce. Yep. Um, that tastes really good. That's a good taco sauce. It's hitting me all over the place. Honestly, I'm getting the tip of my throat, man. The tip of your tongue? No. I got tip of the tongue burn going on. There's no hot habanero in here. Uh, I'm still finding texture like in my mouth. I know, right? Like there's chili dera bowl. But I think it's like, the chia seeds. Yes, there you go. That's what the texture's from, the chia seeds. I'm I'm like <clears throat> chia seed powder. Okay. So I mean chia seed powder is gonna have a lot of it's like a ton of texture is gonna happen from that. I am shocked. Oh so using chia seeds in this, you have to have like the R and D that had to happen in this. <laughs> this is not a first batch. Kind of thing. This is like 40 second batch. Okay, finally it didn't turn into a paste because chia seeds are crazy. Really? Dude, they rehydrate mm. and they turn gummy. Like, but they I start mean, in these little tiny seeds and then you soak them in liquid and they like they just like turn into gummy bears basically. <laughs> they're crazy. They fill up your stomach. They're really good to like. They're super for good filling. For, yeah, they're super good for it. Chia seeds are amazing, but like they are crazy to work with. Yep. But so, he went to culinary school, so he knows this. I know. I mean, he used it as a thickener in yeah. this. Like, this is a very, very cool sauce. Yeah. A wonderful taco sauce. Put it on tacos. It's got a great heat. It's a three. Okay. Yep. 
That's really good. So far, these are incredible. Uh, dude. Uh, th like, incredible. He makes fantastic sauce. And the story's awesome. Yeah, he's he's killing it. He's a great, he's like the happiest guy ever. I, I can tell in his sauces. Every time I've ever had a communication with him or seen him post anything, he is the most, like, yeah. jazzed person you've ever seen. <laughs> Inside jokes. He's been watching this channel for a long time. It's, that was a, that's an old one. It's an oldie. <laughs> Somebody tell me what episode that is from, please, please. If you can tell me what episode that's from, I will send you a bottle of Ghost of Saffron. If you message me on Instagram and hit the timestamp where that is, <laughs> video and timestamp. Okay. This is Big Smoky Mama. Okay, so Smoky J is a sauce he's got on on uh, Hot Ones right now. Smo uh, Smoky Jake, crazy mild. What is it, Lyle? It's just a fire roasted green. It's, is it like the two it's spot? It's the number two spot. Two it's, spot? Okay. It is, it is more mild than the one spot, I think. It is like, <laughs> there is basically zero heat, but it's yeah. so freaking good. So this is the one with heat, apparently. Cherry wood smoked, jalapenos, yellow onion, big mustard mama, and fresh garlic. Oh my god. Distilled vinegar, water, local honey, kosher salt, coriander, cumin, chia seed powder, Citric acid and black pepper. That's a short list. Yeah, big give mustard mamas are like the freaking third ingredient. <laughs> it's gonna be a spicy boy. Very smoky. Should be very smoky. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Super smoky. Yeah. <laughs> um, smoky J is super smicy. Super smoke. Smoky J is super smoky. And this is also going to be a very smoky sauce. Very. But it's like, he actually smoked all the ingredients. We're not talking liquid smoke here. Yeah, so it's, it's not like, fake. It has that, like, even this is like almost on the cusp of too smoky. But it like, it so at least Smoky J, it rides the line perfectly. He puts it right where he needs to. Yes. Like one hair and it's too far. And he just right on that line, for me at least. All right, cheers. It's so good. Dude, that is incredible. It is so good. All right, the heat is delayed. I'll tell you that right now because I'm getting Yeah, because I have nothing. Here it comes. I'm getting it now. It's not overwhelming, but like it took a solid like <clears throat> five, ten seconds for it to see it's still it's still rising. Like I'm chilling, but it's still do you feel it rising? It's on the tip of I, I I don't have it yet. Tip of my tongue for me. You did more than me though. Um No, I don't have it yet. That tastes so good. It's so good. Like it's so good. I'm getting a little top of the throat. So, a bit on the tongue. If you look at the ingredients on Smoky J and on this Big Smoky Mama, like I have a hard time distinguishing where he stops with the smoked ingredients. Because yeah. so he goes, cherry wood smoked, and then a semicolon, and then he just lists all the ingredients. But I guarantee you that he did not smoke the citric acid. Probably you know not. what I'm saying? Probably not. But he doesn't have an end to the he cherry doesn't, wood. He smoke. doesn't close the smoke. Yes. So but he goes. Cherry smoked, jalapenos, yellow onion, big mustard mama, and fresh garlic. So I feel like the and fresh garlic is the closing of that That's statement. That's probably it then, yeah. And then Using just, the and. And then distilled vinegar, water, local honey, kosher salt, coriander, all that is no longer smoked. So right. we smoked the jalapenos, the onions, the mustard mamas, and the fresh garlic. So he's got four of those ingredients that are smoked in there, adding all of the smoked ingredient level to it. That is so good. This is like, I, th I, I don't know what his best selling sauce is, but... Smoky J and Big Smoky Mama need to be like, Dude, just, but don't pass those. Buy them all. They're all really, like, really good. Buy them all. They're all. I mean, yeah, they're they're all delicious. <laughs> like this is a fantastic taco sauce. I can't talk. This is a fantastic taco sauce. This is just freaking weird and cool, and it's I don't so even good, know though. what to say. It's so good. And this one is just. This is like another level. Yeah. Um. Okay. Heat scale on this. So. I got hit harder on the second one, I think. I did too. Okay. Three, two, one. Two. Two. Yeah. It's and it's even hard to say it too. I'm like almost at a one way. I know. Now. It didn't really hit me that hard. This that taco that taco one was spicy. I know. So I'm gonna go above a one though. It's yeah. Above, it's not. Yeah. It's a well above a one. Yeah. It's a, it is a solid two. I got some tongue heat. Yes. Top of the throat heat. Okay. Um, in the description below is going to be a link to Siam sauce. Um, such rad sauces. Uh, really really good dude. Um, I've I've. I've only met him once. I met him at the Weekend Fire here. I've talked to him a bunch online. Just a very, very solid guy. I think he really cares about the industry and he's making some really cool sauces. So I'm just, I'm a big fan. Okay. All right. Uh, in the description below, it's going to be a link to Justin. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next.
Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.